Well, AC, it's the end of season seven. We did this last year. We thought we'd do it again. We'll look back at all of the vehicles that we drove on the TV show, which is probably over 50. Well, and if you combine a lot of cars that haven't even made the show between the two of us, we've probably driven over 100 different cars in the last year. So what we're going to do is we're going to compile our top 10 vehicles of basically the past season. At number 10 is the Ford Transit Connect. Now this might be number 10 on our list, but it was actually named Truck of the Year by the North American International Auto Show of Detroit. So why is this vehicle going to be so fantastic for many people across the country? It's a small cargo van that uses a four-cylinder engine. It's been sold around the world for many years and it's finally come to North America. It's built in Turkey. It has a cargo bed in the back. It's able to carry a fairly significant payload. It's easy to maneuver in metropolitan areas, but it's efficient and that's what's going to attract a lot of people. It's an efficient cargo van. In fact, Canada Post has signed an agreement to be using Transit Connects as their delivery vehicles. It's a lot of Transit Connects. At number nine, the Subaru Outback, completely updated for 2010. It's a larger vehicle than the previous model, and it really epitomizes what a true crossover is. It has a rugged look to it, but it basically is a tall station wagon. So you get the handling that really comes with a car, but you get good ground clearance and a big cargo area. It comes with a four-cylinder, a turbo four, or a six. And the great thing is, because of the continuously variable transmission, not only is it rugged, it's also very fuel efficient. And of course, all Subarus are sold with all-wheel drive. At number eight, the Ford Fusion Hybrid. In my opinion, this is the best hybrid on the market. Now granted, it's not gonna get the efficiency of a Toyota Prius, for example, but it definitely is the most drivable hybrid. It feels substantial, it has good acceleration, it can cruise along over 60 kilometers an hour on just pure electric power. The size is great, it's a four-door sedan, you've got lots of room in the back, you have a trunk, and it really feels substantial, but yet doesn't drive too big. And the instrument cluster, it's absolutely revolutionary. I have a feeling that there's gonna be a lot of companies that'll be copying it in the future. At number seven, the Chevy Equinox. We aired our show and since then, sales have been enormous. Plus the vehicle is made in Canada. In Ingersoll, Ontario and in Oshawa, they're making them as fast as they can. And the Chevy Equinox is a big reason why General Motors is profitable after they emerge from restructuring. It's got an all new four cylinder and V6. Now most people are snapping up that four cylinder because it's smooth, quiet and very efficient. At number six, the Volkswagen Golf TDI. This vehicle is sold as either a hatchback or a station wagon, and it offers for many people an alternative to buying a hybrid vehicle. You get amazing efficiency, but the diesel offers a lot of torque and drivability that a lot of people like. Now forget about the diesels of old. These new diesels like the TDI are quiet, smooth, they don't smell. In fact, you barely realize that you're driving a diesel at all. And the great thing with the Volkswagen is it has that German feel to it. It's very responsive, great handling, and it has a more substantial feel to it than a lot of hybrids do. At number five, the Ford Mustang. In my opinion, it's the winner in the pony car wars. The Challenger and the Camaro are bigger and heavier cars, so the smaller Mustang is definitely much more drivable. Add in the new V8, the 5.0 and the GT with 412 horsepower, and this is a car you can live with every day and have a lot of fun. Now, if you don't want to spend all that money to get the new V8, the all-new V6 is nothing to shake a stick at. It's fantastic. It's got over 300 horsepower. Not only does it have all of the same features as the V8, but it'll cost you less to buy and less to run. At number four, the Hyundai Sonata. Wow, what a great car. What a great looking car on the outside. And the inside is so nicely updated. Beautiful instrumentation, comfortable seats. It looks like a much more expensive car. And that's one of the things that Hyundai does well. They offer a lot of value for the money that you spend. And the engine lacy is great. Almost 200 horsepower from a four cylinder engine. It really is remarkable. Now there's no V6 being offered, but there is going to be a four cylinder turbo available as well as a hybrid. Now I've gotta be honest, this is one of the best new models that we have seen in a long time. It's a fantastic car. I have a feeling that the other manufacturers out there are gonna to have to sit up and take notice. 
Well, at number three is the Kia Soul. This is a unique looking vehicle, and it's also a new kind of class of vehicle that we've seen emerge over the last little while. One of the first vehicles to come out with this boxy shape was the Honda Element a few years ago. Now we have the Nissan Cube, the Kia Soul, and soon there'll be the Scion products from Toyota coming to Canada. Now the thing about this vehicle is it's a great little runabout. You sit up higher, you have a lot of room on the inside, it's got a, a powerful and efficient four-cylinder engine. It really is attractive to people that need something to get around town that's a little bigger than a regular car. Now a lot of people might not even consider buying this vehicle because of the styling and the boxy shape, but it has a huge advantage. The shape gives you a lot more space for cargo, so you can actually fit a lot of stuff in a tiny little vehicle. At number two, the Hyundai Tucson. We have a bit of a log jam in the top five here of Korean models and it's justified. This new Tucson is fabulous. Once again, just like the Sonata, the exterior styling has been updated and we think it's one of the best looking compact SUVs in the marketplace. This is a market that's growing. People that don't want to have a sedan, want something bigger to move their family around, are gravitating towards these vehicles. The inside has been beautifully updated as well. It does have a firm suspension, so make sure you drive it before you buy it to make sure you can live with the sporty feel. And it has a lot of features for a good price. They got rid of the V6 this year, but they've introduced a new powerful four-cylinder. And I have a feeling that most people won't even miss the V6. Once again, the Tucson just offers an overall fantastic package with a lot of value. Before we announced our number one car, we had a bit of a dilemma. Now, Lacey and I wrote down our number one choice, and it was exactly the same. We agree on this car. The problem is there's only a select few people will ever be able to own this car. We were thinking, should we just eliminate it and go with a car that everybody can buy or actually go with our first choice and pick the car that we like the best? So we've been true to ourselves. This is our top favorite from the past year. Our number one favorite car for the past year is the beautiful Porsche Panamera. Now that's something we should touch on because we've driven the car, we think it's beautiful, but a lot of people who look at it go, it looks like a humpback whale. But trust us, when you drive it and you're in its presence and you feel what this car is all about, it really grows on you to the point where you think, I love this car, which is where we're at. It comes in a bunch of flavors, 400 horsepower S, all wheel drive, turbo with 500 horsepower, and now they've introduced the V6 model. Well, and the great thing about it is that you can actually use this car. You can put your friends in the back, you could put car seats in the back if you wanted to. I mean, really, it's a fun, fast, powerful, practical car. We've had it out on the track. It's a Porsche. It's just a bigger Porsche. For the complete reviews of all of our top 10 vehicles, go to our website at drivingtelevision.com.